Hi everyone. So I know I was going to get on a live call today, but I still think I'm, I'm still shy of hitting that live button. I don't know why. Any tips? Happy to hear them. So today I'm going to share with you my big accomplishments and what it has led me to work on this week. It, the week started really interesting or the weekend started really interesting. I had promised my sister I would go for an Asian bridal conference and um, don't ask me why. It's not really my thing. But because it's not really my thing, I said I have to go do it. So I go. And it turned out to be really interesting. I ended up having some very different conversations. And it made me realize, it, it's actually making me realize how deep Befriend Your Mind has been for me and what it has done for others. It's it's really strange that I'm realizing all of this since the, the start for restarting these retreats and um, in Curacao. One of the things I learned was that um, it just happened. I was speaking to a, a founder of um, an app, a wedding planning app, and she had in their events, she had in their where to get um, organizers, um, you had about fitness. And I was like, well, hang on. I said, you'd realize that when before the marriage, especially an Asian marriage, an Indian marriage, there are so much that goes behind the scenes that goes on. And there's a lot of cultural differences, maybe. There's a lot of um, getting on with the in-laws. There's a lot of factors you need to consider. It's There's also those who are from two different cultures and they're getting married. So they have, they're going to combine their heritage. And what does that look like? And so with Befriend Your Mind, because it's about relationship building, you get clarity on, on building a, a strengthening of certain foundation as well. And that often includes having these really awkward conversations because our expectations and assumptions, they are influencing very much in any relationship, if you think about it. I mean, if you go back, you're always wondering... Are my expectations going to be met? Are your expectations and the other person's expectations may also be different, right? And so after walking away from that, I thought, oh my God, I never saw this as a market. I'm always thinking, okay, it's about people in careers and um, growing people's, basically growing um, the present representations in, in corporate world. And it made me forget that I used to do this very much in Kirtan. I used to have a lot of discussions with clients about cultural complexities in relationship. And this is one of them. And I thought, why am I not introducing it back again? It is befriending my, your mind. There is a method to this. And so I designed um, short services. I'm going to be posting it on my website. And also, it when people ask me, well, what is your Befriend Your Mind retreat? Because they know I'm not, I'm not going to overemphasize on how to be spiritual or self care. Befriend Your Mind is really about getting clarity of who you are in your relationships. But what that also means is by getting clarity is. We're going to have discussions, conversations. You're going to want to understand the energy of your body. How does it, when, how does that look like when you don't have energy or when you're giving too much energy and how to find that your balance? I am sharing this because there was a time when, while I was in the yoga center, one thing I did not really feel comfortable with is how much spirituality started to be a very false positivity. Like, and then it started being almost artificial. So if you weren't positive, it's not a cool thing or it's not a great thing, or you were being judged for not being positive. And that put a lot of pressure because you just smiled and you pretended and I just couldn't participate in that. So for, for me, Befriend Your Mind was about Listen, I got some bad days. I got some complex moments in my life. 
And I want to deal with it without feeling like, like I'm some screwed up person because I have to be perfect. I needed to remove the self-pressure for myself so I can look at my relationships with complete clarity and how do I want to communicate in these relationships. And every relationship is different. So that was befriend your mind process for me. And that is what I'm going to be sharing is and how is my life today in terms of friendships and relationships? I really appreciate who I have in my life. I appreciate where my boundaries are now. I enjoy my boundaries. I don't feel rigid with my boundaries. I'm like, no, this is where I want to be and this is where I don't. But I also feel respectful in communicating my boundaries because I can either be, I used to either be a very people pleaser or I used to be that, you know, what people would say a bitch, you know, she was always like strict because it was always like, I couldn't find a middle way where somebody could just say, when they heard me say, no is no, please accept it and thank you and move on. I had to learn to have that healthy relationship. And especially for, I would say a lot for a woman, it's really hard because we have this, this idea that we have to be um, very responsible or very this, or we're so harsh on ourselves and that we're spending so much time trying to fix ourselves that there's more anxiousness. And so removing it was important. Now in Befriend Your Mind Retreat, why I like it is I get to spend more time with you. And I made the with together with Alette, we made it lighthearted enough because we wanted you to enjoy the island because the island is stunning. It's, and I'm not saying it because I'm from there, but it is really stunning. The art, the murals is out of this world. There's a side of the island that's into nature and you can really unwind. The beaches are blue and gorgeous. And there's um, two teachers. Hopefully we'll get both these teachers on to support you um, where you're going to tap into your creative side of you, even if you're not an artist. And we're going to spend the rest of the time with moi. And we're going to have to, we'll talk about the energy. We'll have really nice discussions over lunch. And we've kept the evenings free for you because we want you to enjoy your life. We want you to enjoy your relationship with yourself. So if you're wondering or you want to know more or you want to have a conversation about it, we're offering a, a book of chat. So you can get a call with me. Um, the link is in the bio. And just let's book a call and have a conversation. But so I wanted to show these two things, this new services I'm coming out with, which is very exciting. I'll befriend your mind and how to work with these cross-cultural relationships and um, also how we, to get the right words for it. And the second thing is a little bit more insight about the retreats. So I look forward to hearing from you. And if you have any topics you want to get to encourage me to get on this live, I would so appreciate it. Okay, take care. Bye.